Noify's parts management can make it easier for you to track how many units you have on hand of specific products in your catalog. First, you'll want to go to your admin section under Customize and confirm that you have parts inventory enabled. Once this is enabled, you'll see a parts option in your home screen under Company. You'll see your company's different inventory locations on the left. And when you click one, it'll show your quantity on hand of different types of products inside on the right. And you can add a new location by clicking the plus sign in the top left corner, naming the location, and then entering what products are part of this inventory. You can select any products from inside your Noify catalog, which is connected to the QuickBooks catalog of products and services as well. Then you can enter in a starting quantity on hand of each of the different products that you're saying are in this specific inventory. Once you click Submit, it'll create a new location and show you how many of each item you have in this current inventory location. If you need to add more, you can always click Add Parts here. And if any of these parts are used on a job, you can click where it says Allocate to Job. It'll automatically set the location based off of where you selected the Allocate button from and then you can select which items you're allocating to the job that you selected when filling out this form. Adding an item from a location will reduce the quantity on hand, and if you need to see where that quantity went, you can click where it says View Inventory Logs, and we can see we've reduced one disconnect switch from truck one, and it's allocated to this project. Then if I open this project, I'll be able to see the cost has increased, and it'll show via truck one so we can see where this cost was incurred from. And clicking that link will pull us right to the transaction in our purchases module. We also have the ability to add to inventory via creating purchase orders in Noify. If I click where it says add new at the top of the screen and start creating a new purchase, and we'll go through the same steps as if we were creating a purchase for a job. We'll select which item from the catalog we're purchasing. But when we go to allocate these materials, instead of allocating them directly to a job, we can type in the name of our inventory location. And when we submit this, Noify will create a purchase order that's pointing at the inventory location instead of a project. It'll generate a PDF, which can be emailed to the vendor as is necessary. And then when the materials are marked as received, Using the drop down in the top right corner of this purchase, this will automatically increase the quantity on hand of this item in the specific inventory location that we ordered this for. We can see that the quantity has increased, and if we view our inventory logs, we can see that it was from an item being marked as received on a purchase order. We also have the ability to add materials from inventory to a project plan directly from inside the project plan. We can choose the Allocate Materials option, choose our location, and what items from that inventory location we want to add to the job. This also allows us to define the cost per unit that we want to apply to the job from this inventory allocation. And if we need, we can add multiple items from inventory at a time. Once this is submitted, it will reduce the items from inventory and increase the cost of the job. And just like with other actions, we'll be able to see this shown in our inventory logs to know where the materials went. If you ever need a report that shows the current quantity on hand in an Excel format, you can click the Export to Spreadsheet option. And Noify will generate a report that shows quantity on hand of different items that we have in our catalog and create separate tabs for each individual inventory location so we can see the value of the quantity on hand to date.